Hey there, history buffs. Today, we're diving deep into the ancient past to discuss some groundbreaking revelations about our distant cousins, the Neanderthals. Recent fossil analysis has just shattered a major myth about their origins. And trust me, it's a game changer. For years, scientists believed that Neanderthals, who first appeared around 250,000 years ago, evolved from pre-Neanderthals, a population that lived across Eurasia between 500,000 and 250,000 years ago. The prevailing theory was that early Neanderthals experienced a dramatic genetic bottleneck, a drastic reduction in population size that led to a loss of diversity right at their origin. But guess what? New research is turning that idea on its head. A study led by Alessandro Urciwoli from the Institut Catala de Paleontologia, Michel Crucifon, has taken a fresh look at the inner ear morphology of Neanderthals by examining the semicircular canals of the inner ear, structures crucial for balance and movement, the researchers discovered some surprising insights. They analyzed fossil remains from two significant sites, Cima de los Huesos in Atapuerca, Spain, a 430,000-year-old site with the largest known collection of pre-Neanderthal fossils, and Crepina in Croatia, dating back around 130,000 to 120,000 years ago, which holds one of the most complete collections of early Neanderthal remains. The findings were astonishing. Pre-Neanderthals and early Neanderthals exhibited similar levels of variation, while classic Neanderthals, who appeared later in history, displayed a notable decline in diversity. This suggests that the genetic bottleneck occurred much later than previously believed, possibly around 110,000 years ago, rather than at the species' origin. This inner ear analysis aligns with previous genetic studies, confirming that classic Neanderthals had lower genetic diversity than their ancestors. However, it contradicts the widely accepted idea that this loss of diversity began at the species' emergence. According to Mercedes Conde Valverde, a co-author of the study, these findings provide strong evidence of a bottleneck event, but one that happened after early Neanderthals had already diversified. This means that Neanderthals might have had a more gradual evolutionary transition than we previously thought. Alessandro Urciuoli, the study's lead author, was particularly surprised by the results. He commented, We were surprised to find that the pre-Neanderthals from the Cima de los Huesos exhibited a level of morphological diversity similar to that of the early Neanderthals from Krapina. So, what does this all mean? Future research will need to explore these questions further, combining paleogenetics and morphological studies to refine our an understanding of how Neanderthals evolved and how they fit into the broader picture of human ancestry. Exciting times ahead, folks. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating history revelations. Until next time, keep exploring the past.